And it's winter again, guys. <laughs> this next few days, it's gonna be cold here in Western North Carolina. It got down to the 30s, and I think it might get down to 28 degrees at some point. But the sun's out, and today we're gonna show you what we're doing to help with our garden, because we're gonna get some freeze. And also, what we're doing for our chickens. We got baby chickens, pigs. Speaking of pigs, let's go feed them. Hey, brothers. I'm coming. Good morning. It was raining too, so rain, frost, wind, cold, not good. Hey, brothers. Look at this. Guys, brothers, come on. What are you doing to me? They, they totally ripped the screws out of this. They've been hopping on here. Penelope was playing out there with a white bucket. I think they saw the white bucket and they got excited and they hopped on here and they just like bent this whole thing. Not good, brothers. I need to fix that. All right. So patient all the time. So sometimes the feed gets stuck in there or gets caked in there. And then you gotta just pour some more water in there so you can dump out. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna give the chicks water. Okay. Let's get some water in there. Should get all that feed. About a half a cup of kelp. And that's just for health maintenance to support their immune system. And some more. Excuse me. I think we've had an exceptionally cold spring this year. I think this is the last of the cold though. Sometimes right here, the, the wood chips get all piled up and, and it's hard to close that. Stay in there, stay in there. There we go. Other than that, I really like this door I built. This, I think, is key. That block. And, you know, there's no issues. There's no cracking issues. They do rub up against this, but it hasn't, you know, it hasn't broke or anything. Just that. <laughs> I need to fix that. <laughs> All right, let's weigh out some 10 pounds of feed. That's two scoops. Three. So it's 10 pounds of feed because they're both five months old. And so they each get five pounds of feed. Our rain barrel over there is getting kind of low. So now I have to start using the hose. Because I like to keep the rain barrel just uh, for washing their bowl out. It's just easier because I need more water to fill in here. How's little Bernice doing? Good. Fluffy muggins. Out. Yeah, I know. Fluffy muggins. What? Yep. They all want to fly out. Um, do you think I know this is a crazy idea, but do you think we should move them in there for the day and then at night back in here? I know that's a lot of work for us, but in where? In here. Because there's you know, there's grass for them to eat, the water is an easier situation. Yeah. Cause in here it's like we have to keep filling up those little tiny waters. We could. Let's try it. I mean, I think they'll be somewhat warm. Yeah, without the heat lamp? I don't yeah. think they need the heat lamp. Yeah, they have all their feathers, so. Except I think we should the try brown it. one. Just because it's like those little tiny waters, we have to come fill them up like three times a day. Yeah. And where in there, they would have the nipple water. You want to help us, Penelope? Sure. Can you help them? All right, start grabbing them. How are these guys? Are you guys cold? 
No, they seem all right. We still have the heat lamp on these guys. I got him. Uh, you got him? After um, this cold goes through in a few days, I hope to take them off the heat lamp and put them on the hill and get them going. Lucky mug in. We got more room in here. Look at Fluffy Muggins. Ha! No Mohawk. <laughs> this is a Polish, Polish chicken. It looks so funny looking, I love it. You know what you need? You need a you need a brush to comb your hair. What's up, ducks? Where's that other duck at? Oh, in the coop. All right, so I added a new tarp on the side because before it was open, and so that's to hopefully keep them from the elements because it's exceptionally cold spring. This one's still open. But look at them, they're huddled. They're cold. So I did add some hay in there uh, to help them out a little bit, but they look still cold. But I think I'm gonna give them some dry feed right now. The wetness of the feed is cold and I don't know, maybe dry would be better right now. But I put some diatomaceous earth in this one. I like to put some DE in there, help with any kind of parasites. I try to do that with everybody, pigs, chickens. Don't do it all the time, but every now and then I like to put some of that diatomaceous earth. Again, it's all about health. I'm trying to keep everybody healthy. I think something attacked him last night. It's never happened to me before, ever. So I'm noticing, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a spot of blood there, and there's a couple of them that have blood on them. I don't notice anything in here of something getting in. This one has some blood on them. Seems fine. But there's some blood there. And that one. Typically the chickens would sleep all kind of in that corner over there. And this morning I saw them all in the middle. That could maybe mean that maybe something tried to grab them through the chicken wire at night and maybe grabbed one. And then they all scared them and they all kind of moved in the middle. That could happen. I don't know. That's crazy. How's this guy doing? How are you doing? You alright? Man, that's scary. Probably should... I think I need to put some electrical wire around here or something. What I'm noticing is that with this property that we're on, our one and a half acres, no one ever did anything to this property prior to us moving here. Um, so it was just a big pile of grass. As we're living here and as we have animals and a garden, I'm noticing slowly every single year, life is coming back here. I mean, compared to the first year we were here, we had no predators, no issues. I didn't see one rabbit, one groundhog, nothing. But as the years go on, I'm starting to see groundhogs, rabbits, have not seen a deer or a bear or anything like that. Things are happening, you know. We had bunny rabbits born in our greenhouse last year. Uh, and then this happened, that doesn't surprise me, because it's bound to happen. We have not lost any chickens, meat chickens at all, ever. All right, so I think something tried to get the chickens last night. Why, what happened? I'm noticing blood on some of them, or like maybe like two or three of them. 
like a little bit of blood. And then I noticed a drop of blood on the side of the chicken tractor. Did they get one? Maybe he got one. I don't see was, how. Was there digging? No, I haven't noticed no digging, no cuts in the the netting. I mean, I looked over there where the blood was at and yeah. I didn't see anything. Like this is okay? This was normal? It was normally like that? Just normal. I mean, it's all buttoned up. That's just excess. What is it? I don't know. Looks like, like a scratch, don't it? Like right there? Oh, Jason, look at that. Part of his wing's gone. Yeah, they grabbed him good. He seems okay, though. I mean, he's not like... He's a pretty meaty bird. He doesn't seem like he's hurting. There's blood, like... Yeah. No, where well, he's standing. No, that was just water. No, I moved him. Oh, okay. What do we do? The only thing I can think of, because we don't have another tr electrical charger, is maybe we need to, these need to be closer. Like, it needs to be like half inch wire mesh instead of this chicken wire. Mm. Which I knew that. No, I know, but do we need to put but, anything on him? He seems okay, he's not. I don't know what we could do about him. He's eating, he's, I mean, he seems okay. Yeah, but is he gonna like bleed to death? I don't think he's actually bleeding anymore. And the, and the rest of them all seem okay. It was just that one. We'll just keep an eye on him. Come out here in the afternoon and just see. Yeah. I mean, they seem else. okay. I don't know what happened. We got a worm, we got a worm. Today. Just because the sun's out and it might get pretty warm in here, but just one door open. Last night we covered these plants because we were expecting some heavy frost. And so we're checking to see how everybody looks. Yeah, these are even cold. But they look okay. They're not, I mean, they don't look frostbitten. And this is the same fabric we used for our, our row covers. This is the Agrobond fabric. You know what? I'll leave a link down in the show notes where you could buy this fabric. I don't know if you noticed, but like a lot of the things that we implement here, as far as like mostly like our garden, is things that small scale market gardeners, small scale farms are doing uh, to produce food for their community. And so we're just doing that kind of the same thing, but bringing it down small scale for the homestead. And that's where I got the idea from using this row cover is through the small scale farmers. And we've been doing it for We've been doing the last four years, so, and it seems to be working. And this is basically putting the <laughs> little plant starts to bed and so they won't get frostbite because we have some tomatoes and some peppers in here that we need to save. Some of these need to get in the ground right away. All right, so, so later on in the day, I figure you guys don't want to see me do office work, do you? <laughs> you guys don't want to see me ship out things, do you? I need to add some of this hardware cloth to those meat chickens because I'm really worried about them. I want to do it before it gets dark. That's the other thing about creating this content and having your own business is you got to answer emails, edit video, ship out items. Yeah, the fun stuff, guys, the fun stuff. Let's see how these chickens are doing. All right, so I don't see, where's that bloody chicken at that we saw earlier? There he is right there. It's kind of dried up now. We still have feed. All right, so I have some half, I have some half inch hardware cloth. This is the stuff, the proper stuff that you should be using instead of the regular poultry netting because it's wider. These are one inch spaces. This is a half inch space. So it's less likely that something will reach their hand in there and grab a chicken. I knew that when I first built these, but I just did it anyway because I went the cheaper route. And I was wanting to do this for a while, I just never did it because I never had a problem. I think it might be easier, let's see if I could install it from the inside instead of doing it on the outside.
All right, so we're just doing the bottom. We're not gonna do the entire thing, mainly just the bottom. And it's really just doubling up all this stuff. I think this should be plenty. We still need to do the door here. Lorraine's putting the tarp back on. All right, guys, just don't sleep at the edge. Sleep in the middle. <laughs> Nothing will grab you in the middle. Come on. <laughs> We'll, we'll come back in the morning and check it back on them, see how everyone's doing. Is tonight supposed to be the coldest night? Yeah, tonight is going to be the coldest night. I saw one place saying it was 28 and another one was 30. So I already took in most of my tomatoes and peppers. I just have just a few in here, which I think they'll be okay as long as we cover them. In here. I think everything will be okay. I have no idea. But we'll see. And all the stuff that we're doing, you know, with the chickens, we put that extra hardware cloth, we're doing this. Nothing's guaranteed. <laughs> we're hopeful that everything will be fine, but it's not guaranteed. I think with this, and then, you know, our greenhouse here, I mean, it's fairly warm in here right now. Uh, it's just that as soon as the sun goes down, um, it's pretty much the same temperature it is in here that it is out there. The only difference is that there's no wind coming in here. So I think that helps and hopefully it doesn't frost as much in here. Okay. All right, it's the next day. Lorraine brought in our pepper plants and tomato plants because we definitely got a frost last night. All right, you know there's a frost when it's crunchy on the grass. It looks white. Got down to 30 degrees yesterday, currently 37 degrees. <laughs> Let's check on these meat chickens. How are you guys doing? They got some of that sun. They look good. I added some straw last night. To give them a little bit more bedding down there, keep them warm. There's some ice chunks in there. All right, so everyone seems alive. There's that one bloody one over there. He seems fine, he's eating. Seem okay. It's gonna warm up, guys, from here on out. How's everybody here? How are the baby chicks? Um, they're okay. I haven't opened. They see. They all seem okay. They were warm because as soon as I lifted up that tarp, like hot, like hot air came out. Bernice, good morning, Bernice. You guys look good. You're alive. Woo! Everything looks good. Nothing looks like it's been frozen. I mean, everything's cold and wet, but not with ice. Look at the garlic. I know. It all looks down. Yeah, I think the weight of that That should be all right, though. This has, like, this has ice on it. It should bounce back. Yeah, they're used to the snow. Hey, brothers. How'd you guys do? You stay warm? All right, so when I got these guys in March, it was 95 degrees that day when I got these guys. And today, it's supposed to be 50. Crazy weather. <laughs> 